everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to do a quick video on um, some piercings that I got I ended up getting five piercings at once like who does that I don't know but I did get um, quite a few piercings done and I'm just gonna talk about my experience so make sure you guys like this video comment and subscribe to this channel um, if you want some more I guess if you want like family friendly stuff you can go to my family channel which I will have linked um, in the description box below just get right into it also make sure you follow me on Instagram which is world of CDM that's all of my social media and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video I got a, a bunch of different piercings around the same time within like a month a month's time of each other some of them I don't have anymore or I think one one of them I don't have anymore before I got before I decided to get any piercings at all I only had um, my two lobes pierced and that was it a lot of this stuff came after so, and I'll, I'll talk about that so my very first piercing that I got and this is not the five at one but the very first piercing that I got um, I got my Medusa pierce which is this little part right here above the lip I don't know why I decided to do that I wanted to do that and that's just what happened um, I live in Houston Texas and so the place that I went to get my piercings done was called biolab piercing studio I think but it's biolab it's um over here on the north side of Houston off of 249 and the piercer that I go to his name is Ben he's done all of my piercings he is absolutely amazing he's very knowledgeable um he's very informative he's nice and He's just like, I think his quality of work is amazing. So I think his work speaks for itself. So it's amazing and that's where I go and that's where I will always go. Um, I used to have a few piercings, like I used to have my tongue pierced and I got my nose pierced twice before this and I went to Dago's and I will never go back to Dago's again. Like Dago's is cheap, like it's really cheap and affordable, but it's like you get what you pay for and the quality was terrible and I think I got infections like it's just terrible I don't like Dago's I will never go back again so biolab is a little more on the pricier side but it comes with quality jewelry it comes with the aftercare so you don't have to pay extra money for aftercare and when they switch out the jewelry like that's included as well and the the quality is just a lot better so that's where I go um, make sure if you guys are looking for piercings that is where I recommend I think that's the best spot in Houston in my opinion so on February 22nd um, I decided to get my Medusa pierce which is this little part right here above the lip or in the little middle part of your lip um, and I'll leave like just a little bit of footage right here um, it didn't hurt very it didn't hurt very much at all and immediately after I was like going like this and playing with it and I didn't really I liked it when I got it but after like a couple of weeks I was like okay I'm over it and I took it out because I don't know it was just kind of weird because it was like a big old ball like right in the middle of my face so I didn't really like it but when I first got it I loved it everything was awesome I didn't have any issues with it like it was just awesome I don't know why I decided to get these but it was just something where I was like you know what I want something different um I don't know like I just want to do something so I ended up getting um, my triple forward helix I got a tragus piercing and I also got a VCH piercing so my triple forward helix is this part right here so this is three piercings um, I did that all at one time my experience with these the style that I wanted I wanted it to be like the biggest piece of jewelry and then a smaller piece and then a smaller piece like I wanted it to go like big smaller and smallest on my ear from the bottom to the top so he marked it accordingly so I had a little bit more space um, between the first and the second one so that I can have bigger jewelry and he marked it everything was fine he had me lay on my side and then he stuck the um needles through and the first one he did I don't think it hurt very much I don't think it hurt that bad the second one hurt 
And then the third one hurt like crazy. Like I, I, I was, I don't know, I thought it hurt like really bad. Um, and then after he did that, he just pulled the jewelry through. Um, I think there was a lot of blood. I'm not sure, but like I said, um, you guys can see in the footage right here. But I think there was a lot of blood. But after I did that one, um, I did my tragus. This is my tragus piercing. I don't know, I don't, it's hard for me to say whether or not it really hurt because it might have been in my mind. I think the pain level for this on a scale of one to 10 would probably be a four. But the thing that, that was so weird to me, I guess because it was so close to my earlobe, I literally heard the needle going through my cartilage and it was so, gross oh like I can hear it now but it was so gross it was like uh, so weird okay I can't do it but anyway it was really weird I heard it and so to me I think it it kind of hurt more than what it actually did just because I'm like oh my god I can hear the needle going through that was so weird but I actually really like this piercing um this piercing honestly it didn't hurt after I got it done so like with these when I was on my way home, like, it started throbbing. So I took some, what did I take? I took some pain, some pain pills. Um, I think I took like Motrin or something like that. No, I took ibuprofen. So I took ibuprofen and they were just throbbing. Um, and then it kind of stopped the throbbing until I got home. And then I could not sleep. Like I could not sleep on this side of my head for like, a month and a half and I always sleep on this side like this is the side I sleep on or I'll wrap my hand around the pillow and I'll lay on this side like this is how I sleep I couldn't do that so I had to do it over here this part I think I don't know if it really hurt I don't think it it hurt afterwards or it wasn't as much because I think most of my pain was coming from this I thought I was gonna like I was just like oh my god this hurts so much it hurts but I was probably being dramatic so I really didn't feel this I slept on this side um I had my my hands propped up so I was like laying like this so that my ear wouldn't touch the pillow but I didn't really feel it um it was really easy to clean so I didn't have any issues with that well I think it's really easy to clean so when I clean my triple four with helixes um, ben told me to make sure like they gave me this soap stuff and he told me to make sure that I like rub the area with the soap for like 10 seconds and then move the jewelry back and forth for like 10 times. So like the first week I didn't do that because every time I touched it I thought my ear was gonna fall off like it hurt so bad so I would just run the water on it and lather up the little the um, antimicrobial soap that he gave me put it on there and then I would just rinse it off so after like a week maybe I was able to move it around more and then I was able to like you know actually clean it the way I was supposed to um, it was still sore so yeah, so I got these, I got these um, piercings, like all of these on June 1st. And so it's June 1st, it was hurting and it literally just stopped really hurting like maybe a week ago. Um, and I would say probably the beginning of August. So for two months, like it was sore. Um, it is kind of itchy or it, it was itchy. Like it used to itch a lot. And so I would only scratch like on the rim of my ear like where the piercings weren't and then when I got in the shower to to wash them that's when I used to scratch them because I could have like the soap on my hand and I would just like mess around with it because it was so itchy. My tragus piercing um even to this day it's kind of hard for me to like wiggle to to clean so for the most part all I do is like the soap I'll rub it on the back um rub it on the front and all of that and I'll try to wiggle it but to be honest I don't think that there's enough room or it might still be swollen. It doesn't hurt, hasn't hurt for a long time. So I don't know if I'm cleaning it correctly, but I haven't had any issues with it at all so far. My VCH piercing, um, that is the vaginal clitoral hood piercing. Don't ask me why I got it. I have no idea why I got that piercing. I don't know why I got it. I just thought it would be cute or whatever. So that was the one that he did last. I was super scared. I was terrified. Like, oh my gosh, I was so scared. Um, and 
what he did, so all he did was, I don't think he marked it. I don't remember if he marked it or not. Like that whole part was just, I don't know. So I don't remember if he marked it or not, but I had to get on the table. Um, and then, you know, like the stirrups that they have at the OBGYN office, I had to put my leg in one of those. Um, and then he had like this tube, I'm, I'm gonna call it a receiving tube, I don't know. So he had like a receiving tube and he put the, he put like some kind of ointment or something on it i don't know what it was but i know it was kind of cold like all of a sudden it was like kind of cold or whatever so he put that on there then he put the receiving tube inside of the hood and then <laughs> he stuck the needle through um i jumped and the thing is i don't it didn't hurt so i don't think it hurt at all it didn't hurt but the feeling that i felt was something I've never felt before. Like it was so weird. Like, and it's hard for me to explain. Like normally I could say, oh, it hurt or it felt like somebody was biting or it felt like this. I can't explain it because I've literally never felt it before. So I just felt the needle go through I don't know it was just really weird um but it didn't hurt. I can honestly say it did not hurt at all. I was startled and I think I broke, like I jumped, and so I think I broke the little stirrup or I clicked the stirrup out of place or something, I don't know. Um, I was scared, like it startled me. The sensation startled me. Um, and so once he did that, like once he stuck the needle in, it really didn't hurt. I didn't feel anything else. Like once he put the jewelry in, um, it was fine. I think that I had a little bit of bleeding for like an hour, like a tiny, tiny bit of bleeding for like an hour after. But after that, um, I didn't have any issues. So when I get in the shower, you know, I just wash it, like lather my hands and just kind of, you know, wiggle it, <laughs> move it back and forth. Um, and I did that for like two weeks, I think. I think it, the healing time was like two weeks, but it didn't hurt, I didn't catch it. I was really scared because like I used the little poof, the little puff balls or whatever to shower and it didn't get caught. I was scared that it would, but it didn't. Um, and even down there, I just use a washcloth. Like I always switch off and use a washcloth anyway. Overall, that piercing, I love it. Um, I actually got some jewelry for it um, and I'll show you guys a little bit. So this is, <laughs> this is the jewelry that I have. So for my BCH piercing, um, I ordered a bunch of these. So I ordered a bunch of these kind of jewelries. And I think these are just belly button rings, but um, you can use this for it as well. So I ordered these, I have the white ones, I have a light blue, I have green, pink, blue, red. I really like this red one. I think this is the one I'm going to use next. This is the red one. Um, I have green, like a champagne color, black, purple, blue, pink. Um, this one I like a lot. This is just a dangly. This one is just like a plastic bar, I guess. And then has the little heart has a dangly heart um really like that one and one of my favorite ones um this is one of my favorite ones and these are handcuffs so yeah so i really like these these are handcuffs i have one don't laugh at me i just thought it was so cute with my nickname on it which is riri um, and then I have this one, which is just a heart. I like it. The jewelry that I actually, the one, I guess the starter jewelry, the one that came with it was just this one. This is the one that came with it, pretty simple. So this is one that vibrates. Um, and it's really not that big, um, but it's quiet, but it's kind of strong. So 
I don't know if here, I don't know if you guys can, my hands are ashy. So here, I'll show you how, this is how it sounds. Let me see. So yeah, that's the one that vibrates. <laughs> My favorite one is this one. And I like this. I like this because it lights up. See, it changes colors. It's like green then red and blue and purple. So this is the other one. See, so yeah, I really like this one.